Starting soon, y'all. St st starting soon, so. Alright, starting soon, y'all. Start starting soon, y'all. Starting soon, y'all. Start starting soon, y'all. Mm, starting soon, y'all. Start starting soon. Hey, I got one person in the call. How you doing? Well, pretty good. Except uh, the last week, freaking, we got a new girl at work who decided hey, hey, to hey, 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 like. Hey, 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 hey. We are streaming live. I announced this earlier. Just FYI, we are streaming live. Okay, I will stop the conversation right there. <laughs> I'm just saying, be more generic. <laughs> I just wanted to. I'm like, oh, you might not. You might not be. Uh, you might have missed all the mentions that I have that we're streaming live, so didn't want I didn't want you uh, saying things you didn't want to say. Fair. Fair. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna be keeping all of our games on uh, Twitch uh, uh, for archiving purposes, um, and then um, we'll be. Um, uh, instead of uh, YouTube, uh, it was just it was like the game recordings were so long that the upload time to YouTube was insane for me, and I was just like, "Oh my god, this is driving me crazy." That's why I like didn't record so many games um, in between um, that I was recording, just because it was uh, too painful of a process. Well, let's put it this way. I got OT that I'm not thrilled about. Oh, no. But um, but that means I'm one step closer to actually finishing my stupid, uh, getting my uh, savings so I can get my computer. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. We I'm... got this think pad. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say the laptop I'm working or like I turn it on. I turned it on at 930 just to make sure <laughs> everything started up. But I was using it when I tried to log into freaking discord, even though it's an or while well, discord's running, trying to talk to you guys. Oh, geez. Yeah. I mean, uh, you can get a really decent computer for like, um, three hundred dollars if you're not necessarily trying to play the latest newest games and you just want to like play something like um like uh, let's say like a 2011 or older game um which a lot of games like qualify under that that you would want to play i think um so the, it, 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 it's it, at least it's not like a, a long time of savings is what is, is what I guess I'm saving saying um, oh it's, it's going to be a gaming laptop I'm up to like uh, 1100 right now oh oh dude you can actually get one then like there's um, I got an MSI um, for like 700 bucks and this thing has been handling pretty much everything I've thrown at it been really really happy with it um but like for eleven hundred, like you can get something that's like even better than what I have, and like you, you, and what I have is already able to handle quite a bit. So my current um, PC I got for thirteen hundred from Costco, and it runs everything, even the new stuff coming out. Oh, nice. Yes, yeah. So for, at eleven hundred, like yeah, you you're already in that price range. And just a reminder to everybody showing up, we are streaming. Uh, we will be archiving. Um, I switched over to um, Twitch to archive the games because it took me forever to upload to YouTube. Um, and uh, YouTube streaming, uh, I wasn't... 
I wasn't having as much luck with that as I wanted, so um, so that's why it's on Twitch. Now is it called Twitch? Because if you don't get your uh, if you don't get enough gaming in, that what happens if you're addicted? <laughs> uh, I, I guess uh, I think it was I think it was more like uh, because people were playing like those twitchy games like uh, FPSs and stuff. That makes but, uh, sense. Yeah, uh, but they, they do have a dungeon. Know. They do have a Dungeons and Dragons category, which is kind of nice. So, um, all right, let me switch scenes here on OBS. We're still waiting for a few people to show up. Uh, I want to something to be this. aware since you're using Twitch to archive. Um, they only keep things um, a month after they've aired. Yeah, I'll, I'll... auto deletes. Yeah, I, I have my um, YouTube hooked up, so I think be, I think there's there should be like an easy export to YouTube button to it. Um, oh, nice. That yeah. I know I've done it once before, like a long time ago when I first tried to do Twitch, and then I, like, I, I was like, oh my god, I don't have enough time to handle all this, but like, I had like, um, I've been having like so much downtime that I was able to like, spend time doing this instead of um instead of like with uh like before and now even though i'm going back to work i've already invested enough time that i think that the setup is gonna be okay all right so it looks oh, like congratulations yeah yeah it uh it's nice that they called me back it would have been nice um if they had done it slightly differently but um we're good we're good um, I have us on the neutral screen. Um, gonna gonna get the, um, the song started and lower the volume here. Right, there we go. Well, like I said, not. Uh, I had asked my boss about it. He said he'd work with me about Saturday more about Saturdays, and then scheduled me for Saturday, so I asked him about it again, and he said, yeah, that's really tight, so that's not, so I'm like, okay, can I just close then, and he's like, we, we could probably do that, yeah. but that was after next week's schedule was already out, but I do have a friend who's willing to switch with me, so we have to set yeah. that up. All right, let's see, and are we... Getting, um, are we getting Martillos this week or no? Uh, AG said every other weekend he has off, so okay. since he had last weekend off, I assume this weekend he's not going to be here. Okay, okay. Um, that... that's what he said last week. All right. So what I'll do is um, I'll message him just in case he gets a. Uh some light downtime he can yeah he says sometimes when he gets uh situations where patients don't show up he'll have time to like chime in on his phone but yeah I'll... it's not guaranteed yeah i send him a dm for that but you're the dm uh, yeah the dm also stands for direct message I know, gets, Eddie. I know, but it gets really confusing when somebody asks to slide into your DMs. I mean... Are you cheating on us? Like <laughs> multiple DMs. Dude, I am trying to. Um, how many I... <laughs> How many are you trying to slide into? Uh, I'm, I'm, try, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get a ton of... Uh, a ton more players and, and uh, charge them money for it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Twenty. That's the dream. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the idea. Four players, uh, up to four players, up to four hours, twenty five dollars an hour. Uh, first hour is twenty five dollars per player. That's that's uh, that's healthy. Uh, Uh, that's the. And, uh, you guys all get a five dollar per hour discount. 
generous. Yeah. I was thinking of getting somebody else to like who wants to join, and then I say, okay, well, it's twenty twenty five dollars an hour for for them, and then I'd have to be saying, okay, guys, make sure you tell them that you're paying too. Hey, I'm I'm not above colluding <laughs> to help you make a little bit extra scratch. Okay. And when your uh, when your Twitch channel goes premium, you just make sure I get a, a taste of that on the back end. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, this isn't the only thing I'd be I'm streaming on there, but yeah, that's the that's kind of a goal. Let's see, and so everybody who is going to be here is here. Uh, we you guys were approaching Data, and there was a bunch of harpies attacking. Uh, we all on the same page on that? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good, 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 good. All right, in that case, I can switch over here. We just got a short rest, right? No long rest. Yeah, you guys took a short rest before uh, this happened, so we're going to be reusing this map, but this is now in data. So, and uh, you guys are over here, just coming into the uh, to where all the harpies are. And, uh, okay. Uh, pe people so, uh, and guards are being attacked, and uh, yeah. All right. Um, hold on. I'm just checking to see where my status is and everything. My hit points are full. I have three sorcery points left. Make oh, sure before we uh, get started, I wanted to ask about the. Um, uh, I forgot what they're called, but the extra like little feet type things that we get for our supernatural gift. Oh, um, yeah. Hold on, let me. Let me get to that. So, so I just wanted to ask if I can get two. Uh, just put the two ranks in accuracy. Is that something I can do? Um, yeah. The idea is that once you pick it, you like keep it there. Um, what was what was your uh, supernatural gift again? Uh, next born. Next born, right? Uh, um, yeah, you okay. Get accuracy uh, and luck, I believe. Or um, you can also get like beauty and coolness. Um, yeah, so yeah, you can put both points into accuracy. Absolutely, you can actually. Um, uh, that's one of the. That's actually one of the nicer ones. Um, because luck is really fifty. Luck, well, not that it's fifty fifty, but luck, like if you fail it, you take maximum damage, which is really rough. Um. Um, the biggest thing with, uh, I think it's like luck and dodge, um, is that there's no limit to how often you can try it. Um, whereas with block and aura, you only can do it so many times in combat. So, um, you can always, like, push your luck and just fully negate all attack rolls if you're willing to take maximum. Um, and with luck and coolness, you can always, like, just start, like, bouncing attacks back at enemies all the time. Um, but if you just want something that's more guaranteed, putting both points into accuracy and getting that plus two to hit, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. It's a good choice. So, yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, so all, um, all attacks, anything that's an attack roll... Um, including like Eldritch Blast and everything, will get plus two to hit. Yeah, that puts sure. me at a plus eight, which is pretty nice. Yeah. That's huge. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's the it's the never miss. <laughs> it's the never oh, miss much, that. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't add to your um, damage, but I mean, I roll a five. Roll a five. It's like a thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. Uh... It, it it's really really good. <laughs> it's, it's like that one and the um the fortitude one is is huge. I think um personally, 
just because it's like, oh, is it a physical damage attack, a slashing, piercing, or bludgeoning? Yeah, I'm just going to like take one less of that. And you can put two points as like, I take two less of that. Okay, I'm going to be a heavy armor master. I'm going to reduce mm -hmm. that further. It's like, oh, do you, do you take damage? No, I just, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. I'm re I'm all caught up secretarily, so right. anytime you guys are ready. All right, so uh, so you're coming up to this. Uh, do you guys want to become involved in this fight? Um, it looks like a bunch of harpies, and it looks like they're severely outnumbered. I would say yes. I would yes. agree. All right. Absolutely. We've seen people. Uh, we've seen people overtaken by this curse. Eddie, uh, could you? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Don't yeah, interrupt. I would hate oh. to. I would hate to imagine that this curse, curse could spread, and make more of them. So, Eddie, uh, what's up? I, I mentioned that they're outnumbered. How how severely does it look in the situation, with compared to how strong these guards look? I assume they're guards. Um, the guards and harpies are, um, one-on-one -on -one would be, like, the same level of fighting ability. So, um, we're, we're talking, like, yeah, um, there's... The there, fact there, that each guard has two harpies attacking it right now yeah. is a big thing. Yeah, essentially. So, so, if we were to help out, would you say I'd be aiding the weak and... Vanquishing the strong. Um, yeah, that's uh, numbers wise, that's definitely pretty, true. Pretty, that's pretty accurate. Okay. Yeah, there's also right. um, what appears to be a storm cloud in the middle of um, the. Um, I forgot the name for this thing. I thought it's, that was uh... another geyser. <laughs> oh, uh, there sure is. Yeah. So, and since, you know, you guys can clearly see it, it is definitely there. Um, There's too many geysers in this place. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a thing that I like to do. Um, it's a thing. Once Eddie gets something that, you know, is niche, he just reuses it all the time. Yeah, so don't forget, click on your character and then, um, and then click on the, um, uh, initiative. initiative. Thank you. And then that'll automatically add you to the turn order. Um, so I can clearly see that there's a big thunderstorm here. Thunderstorms are kind of my jam. Uh, you, you, it's obviously I, I, I'm, not I'm, natural. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be more specific in a moment. I just want to get everybody's initiative on there. Okay. Um. So, where is, ah, oh, there's charge, so add to turn, eight, um, and then we have, uh, Martillos. I did, I did not realize that I had to select my own piece considering I'm a player. Yeah, you have to, you have to like click on the icon and then go to the character sheet, sheet and click initiative. And then that is what actually puts you in there. Alright, so now I'll be able to add these guys to the turn order. Um... So this one, so let me see if I get, I'm gonna just put some up here in the corner of the map, just so that I can put a name on this one, okay, and then Add turn. There it goes. Nice. And then I can get the regular ones here. That's fine. That doesn't have a name. And then finally, um, 
there's um, a couple of harpies that you see in the distance. Um, they have their the plumage on their hair is on their head is a slightly different color, and um, they their faces are more um, owl owl like. I don't know if any Those of you remember. Yeah. Ones? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so. gotcha. So, um, if you remember, I do remember. Were those the ones uh, that paralyze people? Um, you you don't nest. Yeah, um, you guys had the um that information from the book in the mm -hmm. library. Yeah, these have these have that extra kind of uh, a p power. They have like a different power. Um. So you remember that much? Um, so I, uh, I wasn't paying attention to the book, but I remembered something about it. Yeah. No, I mean just from an earlier session when you guys were in the library, but right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see, eleven, ten, and nine, which puts it at um twelve, eleven, and. 12 again, so... And we did have a... What, what kind of rest did we have before this? I remember, short, I short. remember we took a rest. It was a short rest? Okay. Short, yeah. These guys are going on a 6. Okay. Alright. Um, so, a few things as well, because we still need... We're still painting the picture of what's going on. Um, the had the battle, you hear battle sounds, um, so, oh, and I need to add these guys as well, and they are going on a 14, so, um, is this essential, oh, sorry, so, you have, um, here we go. Is that on there now? Yes. Okay. So you have uh, these these looking people right here. Um, let me zoom in, zoom you guys to it. Uh, they are um, they kind of are dressed the same way as the uh, imprisoned slaves you guys saw working the elevator earlier. So there's like there's like a certain dress that they had. Um, and these guys are dressed like that, but they, it looks like they were given, um, weapons and, um, armor, um, and they're fighting off the harpies. Um, the ones up here, uh, look more like the traditional guards that you've seen. Um, and they're also, and they're fighting the harpies, uh, two to one. Um, I already explained about the owl ones, the, these here, uh have more human features while these here that are not tinted blue have uh, more bird-like features to them. So you have three different harpies that you see. Um, as far as the cloud, it actually um, it actually looks like it's descending from the sky. It has a star-like pattern to it. And as you look in the distance, you actually kind of see Karanos, like literally reaching down from the sky. Um, and there's like um, electricity crackling within the cloud. So this is this is like um, literally his hand reaching down. Um, and this is uh, okay. yeah. So. Oh, and I need to add that to the. Oh shoot! Too many things are selected. Okay, there we go. I also need to add this, and this is going to be on the twenty. There we go. So we actually start. Um. All right. So do we have any questions before I go on? 
uh, maybe a description I'm missing or some more information you guys need uh, visually as you're approaching. Um, this is basically the size of the town? No, no, this is the center. This is the center of the town, okay. Yeah, this this is the... There's a word for it. Um, I, I forgot what it was. Um, hold on. I'll, I'll tell you in a moment. Uh, so we came over the hill and we kind of we this, funneled down into this into this, this town and this is the agora the fighting and the okay i got it yeah this is the agora it's it's not the entire city this is just kind of like right. where most people most transactions take place the center of the town um yeah the and it also happens to be where the action is happening yeah it, so it, 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 it's, it's it. a, right um you guys had just crossed the bridge and then headed down the hill. Well, you hit crossed the bridge, mm -hmm. took a break, and then headed down the hill um, to mm -hmm. to Data. And um, so, uh, and then if you guys continue going up the river from here, is where you'll get to where you think the harpy's nest is. So, cool. Yeah. Um, any other questions from anybody else? Sorry, repeat. Uh, who's hand is coming down from the heaven? Uh, Karanos. This is a sign from my god. He is manifest in this place. Alright. Alright, so we'll get started. And it starts on the hand's turn. And uh, he shoots lightning over here. Um... And kills off. Uh, these harpies and guards. Holy shit. That's metal right there. Right. I, tell, I tell you, friends, my god is not a kind god. <laughs> Very clearly not. So that's uh, lightning. Lightning knows only to go to ground. It does not care what it travels through to get there. But uh, it did take care of uh, four harpies at the cost of uh, two guards, and uh, we lead off on thorn. For us to kill. Yeah. So we lead off on thorn. All right. Um, does it cost any movement to get out of the cart? Um. So. From where you're at, it, it, it does uh, cost an extra uh, five feet. Okay. Not not the same as dismounting or anything like that. It's just the, the hop the hop down. You can use um, athletics or acrobatics to attempt to negate that. It's a DC 10. All right, I'll use athletics to see if I can pass that. Okay. Yeah, you did. Nice. Cool. So that puts me at 5, 10, 20, 25, 30, I'll move over here. Um, I'll go ahead and use a bonus action to um, to use my uh, Crimson Right and take 1d6 damage. All right. Take 4 damage and then uh, apply Poison uh, to my weapon. Okay. Uh, does that and also is that only is that only poison damage on that, or is it also the poison effect? No, just poison damage. Okay. Okay. And then I'll use the rest of my movement to move up behind this harpy here. Okay. All right, and that's everything for you, right? Yeah, that's all I got. All right. So we have these guys going. Um, I have one, two. Three, four, five of these guys. So, um, four of them hit, and one of them isn't standing next to anything. I don't know if that matters. One, two, two of them. unless three, they have pole four. arms, there's two that aren't standing adjacent to things. I don't know what you're talking about, so. Yeah, no, they're all in range of the yeah. harpies. Yeah, they all have, they all have. 
Okay. So. If they have a 10 foot attack radius, then. Are you talking about this? I'm talking about the. the. the men that are attacking these harpies. You might Which not. If, if, you, if you're not seeing the harpies that are right next to them, you might need to reload your page. Okay, yeah, it wasn't loaded for me. Actually, this Sorry one. Oh, no problem. This one also misses, and then this one does hit for three. Alright. And then um, we have these here, and let's see. You see her um, attack the guy in front of her um, with her claw with her claws, and um, one of them hits. She does. Uh, eight damage to him, and then she, um, and that's the claws on her, on the edge of her wings, and then she uses the talons at the, uh, at the end of her feet and attacks two more times, and actually both of those hit him as well, um, and this one does... Plus six, uh, 22. So she kills this guy. You just see her tear him apart. Um, Which one? All the way over on the far right. Gotcha. Yeah. I see. Um, then down here we do the same. So, uh, both of those hit and one of those hits. Um... 14 and then uh, so she tears the one down here apart as well um, now we have these over here and they start attacking this guard here um, and you see that he gets knocked down to half health this one as well this guard gets knocked down to half health. So you just see that, like, um, these guards are bleeding profusely, wounds in the head, the arms, the legs, they're just getting torn apart. On this end. Can you snap to the region of the map that you're uh, dealing with? Because I can't, I'm having, okay, thank you. Yeah, it, um, it's it's just the the guards. The guards in the north are all getting attacked, and um, they're yeah. all they're all bleeding profusely. It's just a big, it's just a big map. It, I know, yeah. I know. It's so a I'm big map. To... Yeah, th sorry. The this... turn order has the same picture for it doesn't yeah. retain the blue coloring on one of the harpies. So yeah, so uh, well, not all the harpies are blue. So yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, the one that is blue is labeled blue harpy. Um, so this guy over here dies. Um, and then this guy over here also dies. We don't even get to learn his name. And um, Argos. Uh, I'll take a moment. I will, I will make eye contact with the thunderstorm. And uh, I will uh, charge... Karanos, uh, I'm well, not charged, but uh, uh, hail Karanos to watch me and bear witness to uh, you know Argos, the undrowned, the bring the eye of the storm, and then charge in. Right, uh, 
230. Oh, look at that. Uh, uh, can I get there? I can. Right? Come on, move. Oh, fucker. There you go. So I'm going to charge over there and uh, hit him with my hammer. Take a big old wind up. All right. Yeah, that hits. And I'm going to reroll that damage. So five, six, seven. So he takes ten damage instead, and then uh, hit him with a gore attack as well. So lower my horn and try and knock this thing out of the sky. Okay. Uh, so the hammer blow. Um, you see that it easily clips one one of its wings and knocks it out of the sky. Okay. And then as it's coming down, I just headbutt it straight into the straight into the ground. All right. So what uh, you're, you're so so you're using your hammering horns racial, right? No, that would be if I was trying to move it. This is just for color. Like as I hit it with the hammer, I'm coming down and I smash it with my horn. Okay. Let me take a look. Okay. So it's just forget. a straight up gore attack. Um, Hold on, I need a. Let me get to the. I just forget about that on the. I always, I always misread the. Um, I always forget the Minotaur thing because it. Hold on. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah, outside of Theros, it doesn't really come up very often. Yeah. Um. So your because for you to your horns can be used as an unarmed strike. Um but unless you're a monk you don't have the extra unarmed strike as a bonus action. So what you're actually trying to do is use your hammering horns. Because that's the ability that lets you do the, um, as part of an attack action on your turn, you can use a bonus action. So that's the ability that lets you do the bonus action attack. Um, otherwise, your horns attack is a full-on attack. Unless you have a bonus action attack ability from something else. Can you still hear me? Did you just? Connect? I was gone for a long time there. Sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> uh, I didn't realize I had disconnected. Oh gosh, totally I thought you, you were still. Too. I thought you were still checking something, and I was yeah. like, okay, well, I'm being patient. Yeah, yeah no, I, <laughs> I was. I was totally talking to you. Um, yeah. So, the, I apologize. I, and, I didn't know I disconnected. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so the the horns attack is an unarmed mm -hmm. attack. And so you have to have the ability yep. to do a bonus action unarmed attack to do it. Um, the hammering horns is the ability that lets you do a bonus action um, that and, and move. But unless you have like the monk's ability to do an additional unarmed attack, you can't do the horns attack as part of it. Well, if you make a melee weapon attack, you can make a bonus unarmed attack as a bonus action. Right? Let me double check on that. Because I know um, that the monks get that. Yeah, the monks get it, but it's 
that's the same way as if you're dual wielding, because you make a melee attack with one hand, and then you use a bonus action to make your uh, your second attack, your second melee attack. Yes. And unless you have the fighting style, you don't get your proficiency bonus. With no, see, see the thing, as, yeah, as, yeah. So uh, your unarmed attack is not a light weapon, and so it doesn't count for that. You're also using a two-handed weapon, I believe. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah, so that is also not part of it. Unfortunately, in 5th edition, unarmed attacks do not get the light feature. Unless you're a monk. So, oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, so so that's that's I what I... didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like such a weird, like, rules niche. Um, yeah. and, 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 and I know you're thinking, like... Uh, but but then if you think about it, every barbarian ever would always be headbutting because even if mm -hmm. they're not getting that gore attack, they'd always get at least um, one plus strength damage from a headbutt. So why wouldn't they always take that? And it's because of this. It's it, it's yeah, not. Yeah, I, I, get, I thought. I mean, I thought that it was a special feature of the horns. Yeah. No. I was, so that's, yeah. I yeah. was I was reading it as you know which you can use to make unarmed strikes. Which is exactly right. what it says. Your horns are a natural melee weapon, yes. which you can use to make unarmed strikes. And so yeah. I figured I can make a melee attack and then make an unarmed strike because it gives me the unarmed strike feature. Well, you always have unarmed strikes, right? Like you can always punch. It's just that a punch is usually just one damage plus your strength modifier. And this lets you roll a 1d6 plus your strength modifier. If you now, and if you were a monk who was a minotaur, you'd you'd be able to do your your horns as part of your monk attacks, and it would count. So and if it I would... so if I I know, but that's I know, but if I okay, so if I was to just use a one-handed weapon, would I then be able to use the gore attack as an unarmed strike? Um, well, no, because weapon would have to be your offhand. And that would be uh, I'm talking. Can I just? I want to figure yeah, this out. No, yeah, no, no. That uh, that's actually he's actually on point with that. Your one-handed weapon would have to be your off-handed weapon. It would and it would have to have the light property. And then your main attack is your horn attack, and then your off your bonus action attack for the is with the light off-handed weapon as, as part of dual wielding. As a bonus, That's you could then have. As a bonus, you could then have your focus on your main hand, so that way you can gore attack and an offhand attack light weapon. Yeah, but that's dumb. I don't like that. Okay, well, whatever. That's yeah. Fine. Uh, well, that's uh, that's fifth edition uh, for I you. I will. <laughs> well, and that takes but, away a lot of the utility that I wanted to use this guy for. Yeah, um, but you can... That's all right. Uh, you, I'm still going to hammering horns him then, I guess. All right. Might so, as well, since um, I've already used an attack anyways. So Good what's... Same monk. What, yeah, what's uh, the DC on that? Uh, 8 plus 3 plus 6. Uh, 6. Eight, uh, 8 plus 6. 8 plus Sorry, 6. 14. Uh, 14, all right. Strength. Strength. Um, she locks out. Um, the harpy locks out, even though it was on the ground. Um, it kind of wiggles in between your horns. It's it's a rather lithe creature, um, mm -hmm. and does not get moved by you. But it is no longer flying. So let me go ahead and mark that as. Um, I'm gonna add the fluffy wing to say that they're not flying. That makes sense, right? Mm. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. So Is... just to, I because I need to get my head around this for tactical reasons. Uh huh. So if I use a spell, uh, if I use a cantrip, let's say, uh huh, uh, then I still then I can't make an I can make an can I or can I not make an unarmed attack? Like if I say uh, if I did say shocking grasp which is a melee spell attack would i be able to would i be able to use my horns as a gore um so no like so the monk 
I believe, is very specific in that it lets them make that bonus action melee attack as part of their um, martial arts. Yeah, it's right here. When you use an attack action with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon on your turn, you can make an unarmed strike as a bonus action. So that's actually very specific to the monk as part of their martial arts feature. So it has. So it is not common for anybody else to be able to do that. So no. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I would allow a. I would allow a. Um, any spell that has a spell attack. Like if you're doing an attack roll for the spell, for you to then bonus action hammering horn something that's next to you. Okay. I would allow. I would. Al I personally would allow for that, even though that's not exactly no, that's, rules as written. That's not. That's not an okay of me being disappointed. I'm just trying yeah. to think my way around the new way I'm trying to play my character. Oh yeah, I understand. Just because of like what you were doing, so I get you. All right, is that it for you? Oh, uh, yes. Alright. Um, I am going to continue to play uh, Myrtilos the way um, AJ was playing him. Please don't. Please fucking don't. So Come he's on, going to idiot. stay on the cart, with the cart, and drag it along as he runs in. <laughs> fucking god, Eddie. Please don't. <laughs> All right, he's going to spend I'm the action. I'm literally the only one still here, and you're just gonna run me over. <laughs> uh, he is going to take more care and go around you, though, and go here. For the love of God! At least I'm not standing on a bridge this time. Let's see here. Ten. Uh, come on, click on there. Ten twenty-five. There, and he avoided both of you guys. Um, and he's going to double move. So let's rotate him a bit here. Um, Watch it, that's in character. Forty, and then rotate him. Then, all right. So that's his double move, and then let me just line him up. Something. Like that. There we go. All right, Alexandra. Alexandra. Uh, okay. So what are we doing? Okay. Coming up here, draw my bow, fire. All right. So, um, uh, this one here. The one next to him. Uh, here. The one that, that fell on the ground and took damage already, or the one that's still flying? Uh, the one that on the ground. Okay, okay. Well, you critically hit, so go ahead and uh, roll damage on that one. Is that right? Did you? He rolled zeros. He rolled d zeros. Oh, yeah, that's not set up correctly. Um. <laughs> Let's see here. Got it. Imagine Can if you, you roll, roll a D zero. zero. <laughs> Can you roll a D zero for me? Um. So oh, okay. player saying you can't do that thing. So short bow. Sh short bow is what one D six. Uh, I believe so. Yes. So it's because it was showing the, um, like it shows like the little grayed out part and it didn't have the, um, mm -hmm. it didn't have like the uh, actual number. So now it should be 1d6 plus 3. Um, cool. So 5 damage. 
Alright. So, yeah. Uh, it's almost dead. Well, didn't he get a crit? So doesn't he... Oh yeah, add another d6 to it. Roll another d6. Okay, that's enough. It so you you uh, you shoot an arrow uh, right through its head, and it uh, collapses on the ground dead. Um, do you have another attack? Yes, I should. Okay. Um, you're kind of like at a bad angle because there's uh there's like wall in the way. Um, for you to hit the other one, um, but you can kind of see it a little bit. It would be at three quarters cover, so it's a minus four to hit. Um, that's damage. I need a. I need you to roll to hit again. Uh, 17 minus 4, uh, still hits. Let's go ahead and uh, click on the damage on that new roll, so that's 4 damage on her. Alright. And um, let's go to uh, Xeon. Alright, fantastic. Thank you, Eddie, for letting me get an actual turn this time. No, oh. I try, I try. And he didn't even so, fall off. A, he didn't even fall off a bridge or get stuck in a box. I didn't fall off the bridge. I got knocked off the bridge. It's a yeah. difference. Yeah. Um. So, quick, couple of questions about the terrain that I have. Sure. First, uh, I'm gonna glance at this storm. Is it something I can see through? It's not. It's like a cloud in the air, right? It's not like a pillar or anything that I ha I'm having um, trouble seeing through to the other uh, side. Uh, it it goes all the way up. But um, it's slightly translucent, so you can see through it. There's like stars inside of it as well. It's definitely more translucent than it appears on the map. So would it provide any cover or hindering of sight to any enemy on the other side of it for me? Um, it does so count. It does. Arrow it? it does count as half cover, so a minus two to hit. Okay. Do they noted? And then these dark gray spots on the ground along the edge. I assume that's a raised platform with the uh fortress walls around us for people for like guards and stuff to stand on i assume so there is a roof above that um what i'm for, assuming yeah no um, yeah, no, um that that is actually just um like yes and no but it there's you can move underneath it yeah you can move underneath it but there there is a roof on above me or no uh yeah it, there would be yeah. Okay, just want to make sure mm -hmm. it'll make a difference with flying enemies. I just wanted to ask. Mm. Um, and then, so it looks like these are kind of tents or stalls, and the corners on here are walls, correct? Yes. And there is no walls above the stations that look like tables or whatever they are? So um, I could fire an arrow through there? Th there? There's no wall at those stations, no. though. Okay, so like the the squares. Yeah. So only yeah. where the dark brown is is considered a wall. Exactly. Everything else you can okay. you can see in or move through as long as there's nothing blocking it. And then this thing right here, I believe, is a cart, right? Very tall. Um. Yeah, it's a tallish cart. Yeah. Okay. And then same with the one on the other side, next to a box and a table. Uh. Yeah. Like it's carrying stones or something like that. Yeah, there's a yeah the, the the slab. I mean that's a cart, but that one's lower. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, knowing all of this information, no I'm problem. going to take a tactical point. Here, which should put me in range to shoot everything on the map. That sounds about right. Except for these, two, the two harpies next to the one guard up here, where I'm clicking. 
because the tent would be in the way, correct? Um, you can always arch over the tent, but they're they're covered, so it would but still be minus four. Yeah, but I can't see the target, so that would be all right. And I will take my first shot at the owl harpy to the south. Okay. Nice. Uh, looks like you have a clear view, so, uh, yeah. no modifiers. Well, except the natural ones, right? Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, no no, no additional modifiers from, from normal. There's, like, no cover modifiers or anything. Um, ten, ten misses. That sucks. Well, hopefully that one hits. The 23 does hit, yeah. Uh, four damage. All right. And then another question. So huh. the uh, underneath this cloud, right? Yeah. Can you kind of like this? So it looks like there's a stone platform. Yeah. Oh, there. Okay. That, Brett, that gives me a little more to work with. Um, yeah. There's a bunch of statues in there as well. Um, okay, and then uh, how, water, the, how deep the, does the water look, or is it too murky to tell? Um, the the water goes uh, ten feet down. Okay, interesting. Um, I'm going to bonus action hunter's mark the harpy in front of the dead guy to my south. Uh, this one here? The one in front of the guy with the X on it. Right okay. in front of AJ's character. Alright. Sorry, I had the wrong tool selected. No yeah, that one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and that will conclude my turn. Alright, let's put Hunter's Mark on that one. That's the uh, eyeball. Um, I have it marked, but I might still not uh, see the mark, or I might forget about it, so just remind me. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm gonna remind you, yeah. Thank you. Uh, we'll have these guys. Um, this guy attacks this one here. Um, uh, this guy attacks one of the harpies here. This guy attacks one of the harpies here. This guy attacks the one of the harpies here. And this one attacks on the Alright. So, um, if we're uh, looking at the blue harpies, uh, this one up here, this one down here, this one on the right, just all the ones on the right or on top, uh, where the ones attacked. And, um, we go to a new turn. We start with the cloud um, moving 30 feet this way. And let's see. Let me zoom in a bit. Having a little bit of trouble with the. Uh, angle controls here. Shooting a bolt of lightning this way. Alright. And that kills off these three people here. And we go to Thorn. Let's see here. Thorn. 5, 10, 15, 20. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So I'm going to move around this building here. And 
then a move. Out here. Okay. With a double so. move, and um, I'm going to use uh, Revealed Arcana to cast Blur on myself using one of my magic slots. Alright. And that's all I can do. Harpies come at me. So, what was that arcana? Uh, it's called Revealed Arcana. It lets me cast Blur um, using um, one of my packed magic slots. And it lets you do it as a... So it's not like... As a bonus action? Oh, or... um, let me... Because the double move costs double you check. the action. Yeah, it's just my action, so let me move myself back. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I'll use that, and then I'll Misty Step the rest of the way, so I can stay where I am. Okay. Um, right. And, uh... I got my two spell slots. I just want everybody who's watching to know, I uh, do uh, still allow the use of... Uh, bonus action spells with a spell as long as you're not moving a full action spell to a bonus action spell but that's just a personal thing because i thought it was always stupid um just to clarify does revealed arcana count as casting a spell since it's like a a class feature um it i think it when calculating that It should, I believe. So, um, yeah. I mean, it's it still, doesn't matter here, but just to know in the future. Yeah, it still counts as a cast. Okay, um, I'll keep that in mind. All right. These guys do an attack. Um, I still have just uh, one of them alive, so... Um, he does manage to hit the harpy. For three. All right. These guys are fighting bravely. Um, Al Harpies. We have one that was attacked. So let's see what she does here. Um. I need. Uh, Need everybody in 300 feet of the harpy down here um, to make a DC 15 um, wisdom saving throw. Maybe if you didn't catch that, that was the entire map, by the way. So, um, Just short. Got one success. Man, we all have terrible wisdom. And, um... I mean, I have pretty good wisdom, just really shitty rolls. Alright, that was also a failure. Also. And then, how many alive do I have? I should One, not have made that. Two, three, four, five, six left alive. Yeah, the only person that made the wisdom saving throw was somebody that had a negative stat. That's stat. pretty funny. Um, and one more. So. It always scares me when we roll so many d20s at once. Hey. Yeah. Okay, so that also fails, so. One, two, That's three. That's just damage. Three, five. So this one made it. 
All right. Okay, so I'm going to mark him as having made it. And I'll mark Charles as having made it because that is faster than marking all the ones who fa uh, failed. All right. Um, everybody who failed your wisdom saving throw. Um, you uh, only want to move to this harpy on the bottom right side of the map um, until you are five feet away from it. You must uh, double move towards it and um, you don't maneuver to avoid uh, opportunity attacks. Um, you get to repeat your saving throw if you take damage from anything other than her. Does it have to be a direct attack? Um, as direct as you can. Actually, let's okay, see. So um, can I veer a little bit to go around the water, or do I have to go straight through the water? Um, da -da -da. If uh, you repeat the saving throw at the end of your turns, and before entering dangerous terrain, so the water wouldn't count. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, no. Um, highest, it just says highest rate, and it says... Um, the most di the most direct route, so you would avoid you would avoid things in the way. Um, but okay. you, but if something is climbable, you would just climb over it. If something is swimmable, you would just swim across. Yes. Yeah, so for but, my character, because I have a swim speed, I would have to go across the water. Yeah. But for somebody without a swim speed, they would avoid the water. Um, no. If 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 they can if. Since they can, if they're capable of swimming, they would swim across. Okay, because you said this was uh, 10 feet, so somebody clad in metal armor, I would assume, would want to avoid the water? Uh, they, they, they're, they're not really thinking. Okay, gotcha. Understood. Yeah, but if there's like a wall, they'll walk around the wall. Mm -hmm. But if but if there's, there's something that's just like slightly above, they'll climb over. No, Eddie, I go through the wall. Um... You you also get a save at the end of each of your turns. All right. So if somebody hits you at the end of your turn, or just before you're about to do um, uh, walk over something dangerous, um, a bed of thorns, lava, etc. Uh, there's not anything currently like that right now. All right. And um, cool. we have uh, these harpies here, and let's see. Um, we'll start here. This guy dies. This guy dies. This guy who saved dies. And this guy dies. This guy takes 11 damage and snaps out of it. And... These harpies... Let's see, what is their movement range again? Yeah, that's what I thought. Slide down. Oh, and this one over here is also going to fly here. This one will kill this guy. And this one will move over here to help kill that guy because it'll need both of them. And I believe that's all the harpies. Um, Argos. Argos with his eyes glazed walks all the way down here. And 
then tries to remember if he was forgetting about something. Uh, and he doesn't remember. Alright, uh, Mertillos, um... Goes there, cart. Goes there. And Martillos at the end of his turn also tries to remember something and remembers it. How did it get over here? And he uh, puffs out his uh, plumage. Alright, Alexandra. Um, you saw that, you, you hear the singing, and you saw that some of your friends just start started mindlessly walking uh, towards that harpy down there. I'm gonna... Hey guys, where are you going? Yeah, they're, they're, they're not answering. Okay, I'll, I'll get this guy. I guess you get those guys from the hackers with my blade. Alright. Put away your short bow, take out your blade, your glaive, and, uh, yeah, um, go ahead and attack her. She's, like, flying inside the tent, so. Um, 13 does hit. Let me do eight damage. All right, you uh, you knock her out of the sky. Uh, she's uh, she falls flat on the ground. She still seems to be breathing, but uh, she's uh, she looks like she's practically dead. All right, yeah that. Hits and uh, you finish her off. So. Okay. I want to finish my movement. See what's going on with my friend. Right. Guys, the fight's over here. There's still more up here. Alright, Xeon. Alright, um... It looks like you just pretty much hop over the wall of it. <laughs> Don't even need to go into the water. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess you could still argue that going at a diagonal is still going in a straight line. Yeah. You don't really go through the water. Um. So does this this charm effect doesn't require me to cast any spells or anything. It just requires me to take a, a dash action, correct? Um, you take the... the here, let me do this again for you. Um, you are considered incapacitated. And you uh, only move and you only move directly and use your and uh and dash to get to them gotcha does this uh, uh hinder concentration at all um should i have made a concentration check uh for, for, mark? for the hunter's mark um well you're using the ua hunter's mark right so it's not a spell it's still required oh wait no you're right yeah it doesn't require okay. concentration right okay i totally forgot about that that's the point of the ua yeah um uh, it was the whole point. Alright, no, never mind. 
Uh, so I guess I wouldn't be compelled then to use my bonus action at all because I'm under the effects of this charm. So uh, I guess I make my wisdom save my turn. Yep. On the uh, failed. Okay. Right. Um. Let's do the guards. They're mostly dead except for this guy over here. Um. He's gonna move over here, and uh, he goes. Uh, he goes. Miss. The only way to break your friends out of the spell is to. Either wake them up physically or incapacitate the harpy that's singing. Okay. Right. Uh, thanks. I'll try that. Alright. We have the cloud. The cloud moves 30 feet this way. And zoom in a bit. Oh, I can't see crap. Where's the handle? Back. Yeah. And shoots a bolt of lightning here. Let's see. Uh, and kills this one, this one, and this one. All right, Thorn. Um, I have to move in a direct line. Yeah. That puts me. Yeah. Uh, I believe they're going through the water. Yeah. So I don't know how much of that my movement that'll take up. All right. Um. So move up to the water, and then that, that figure out how much movement that costs. So. That's one move. All right, and then um. The water uses, uh, you, you don't have a swim speed, right? So, so it, you, so it, it counts as double your move. So, okay, so you'd that be would able get to me do. across, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. Puts me like right here. And then I make a wisdom save. Correct. Uh, yeah, you break free. Um, it, it, the the blood thing that you did does that require concentration? Uh, I believe it just sticks around for an hour. Let me double check. All right. Can I make uh, some kind of check to see if he uh if he broke free? Sorry, say that again. Uh. You want to see him break free? Oh, um, yeah. You can um give me a perception roll, or um, yeah, perception. Uh, yeah, it stays until I either do a rest, either short or long, or I'm not holding my weapon at the end of turn. Okay. So it could potentially last twenty four hours. He's going to change directions, move up here. Do I have to check concentration for my blur? I. Uh, your blur would drop. Oh, okay. This one is going to go to Martillos and attack him. Plus 
6. He's at 14. So, 1, 2, 3 hits. Plus 9 is um, 17, 23 damage on Martillos. Um, 50 minus 23. Let's see. Uh, oops. 27 hit points. Suddenly closed his character sheet. Alright. Alright. All right. Um, so you see, uh, one Al Harpy goes in, starts tearing into Mertillos. Um, these ladies, uh, let's see. Uh, she's gonna double move over here. 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 Yeah. I'll be right back, hopefully, before it's my turn. Alright. Yeah. I believe that's their turn. And the regular ones. They all, they're all uh, flying in, er all of these are flying in erratic patterns. Uh, they took dodge actions. Um, Argos. Uh, which one am I attracted to? This one? The one up, no, the one up here. Oh, the one up there, alright. So uh, and she used, her will... she used her bonus action to keep singing, so, so everybody's still... Okay... So I can get to that square. Do you have a Do you have a swim speed? I do indeed. Mmm, fun. Yep. So I get to there, and then I wrestle with my the the <laughs> force trying to control my will and fail. All right. <sighs> Mertillos. Let's see. I believe uh, rage is a bonus action. So I get a rage. Um, that's a good rage face here. Gonna use that. And. He really didn't fill out his character sheet much, which is a bit annoying. But I believe he gets two attacks with his dumbbell. And both of those will hit. Uh, for 14, and then his rage adds plus 2 at this level, so it's a total of plus 4. So um, that's 18 damage. And she's flying, so um, he's gonna move under underneath her like this. Um, and and he's shouting, "Quick, use the cart to jump off and attack her!" <laughs> Is he talking to me? 
No, he's just shouting to you guys. Okay. okay. Um, and then it's gonna be Charles's turn. Um, you back yet? Seems like it's a no. All right. Um, go ahead and take your turn, Andrew, since it's just gonna be the moving and the. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move. No, the you're still enthralled, right? So she's up. She's up yeah, here. I'm gonna. Oh, she, she's that one. Yeah. Okay. Um. Sorry, I'll, I thought it was the one next to. I'll I'll I'll, I'll mark her with a green. Sorry, I didn't realize they had swapped in the middle. Um. Okay. Uh, does it cost any extra movement to get into the water? Like this uh, wall doesn't no, impede. No, no, the, the the wall does not impede. No. Okay. Then I will dash. I believe you right pa you pass by this one. She is going to take a swipe at you. So, um, just do your movement up until you get to um here, and then if you get hit, you'll snap out of it. Okay. Um. Let me double check her bonus to hit real quick. Uh, it's only plus three. Does a ten hit you? No. Yeah. So you keep moving. Go ahead. All right. I All right. make the full dash All right. and move to uh, right next to her. All right. So now you're just staring up at her like a. Uh... And then I make my wisdom save. Yep. Doesn't it break when you get within five feet? Um, no. no. I have to m no. move within what? five feet. It said, don't you move up to within five feet of it? And then, oh, it's, never mind. Yep. The attack breaks it. Um, I, I fail. All right. Again. Yeah, it's, I haven't it's... rolled a, an above average roll yet this entire game. Yeah. So. I'm back, by the way. All right, go ahead and take your turn, then. These two guys are breathing, right? Yep. Wink, wink, wink. Nice. All right, let's get those rolls going. That one hits. Alright. Um, Same one, just to try and kill one before the other. Yep. That hits, critical hit, go for it. Yep. Um, you, you knock her down dead. One birdie down, two, uh, one more to go. Look right. around, about 300 more to go. This guy comes here, attacks the other one. Uh, uh, he manages to uh, get a nasty gash on one of her talons. So. And. Let's see. This moves over here. And shoots lightning straight down. Killing this one. And the lightning coming from the finger um, hits the wall here and um, breaks it and you see the water start to like pour out into the uh... into the ground here Alright. 
Uh, Thorn. Thorn. Um, all right, so I broke, I broke free of the, um, of the mind control, right? If I remember so, correctly. Yeah, you did. Here, I forgot to mark you as free. Okay. Give me a moment. Boom. All right, there you go. All right, and I lost my blur, which is terrible. Um, so I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast at the... Uh, can I reach this harpy? Yeah, I can. I'll do two Eldritch Blasts at this harpy here. All right. Um, one at a time, so go ahead and roll the damage on that one first. Well, okay. You're going to have to do the second one. Does the 11 hit? Uh, the 11 does hit. Okay, cool. So go ahead and roll... Um... So it's 14 total. Oh, you, need a, you, you need a roll per Eldritch Blast, actually. I did. Oh, okay. At the 18 and 11. 5 yeah. and 9. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, the second, the second attack kills her. Cool. Awesome. And then I'll use Mystic Fury or Mystic Frenzy to attack the one diagonal of me. Uh, this With one. My glaive attack. Or, or this yeah. one or this one? The one further away. Uh, the one yeah, further away is directly next to me. Oh, okay, okay. Go for it. All right, that hits. All right, that's nine slashing plus my um, right of the serpent. Which is additional five. Nice. All right. Uh, That's you, a nice little routine. Yeah, you knock her down to the ground. All right, and uh, I think that's all I can do. I'll put the wings on her to show she's no longer flying. All right. So this one here. Um, goes ahead and she's going to take her full attacks against, um, Zeon. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, what the fuck? So that's two crits, um, a 13, and an 8. Does the 13 hit? Yes. Okay, does the 8 hit? No. No. Alright. So that's going to be this much plus 6, and this much plus 3. Um, so 19 um, plus 6, so 25 damage. Um, as she tears into you. Mm -hmm. um, and she stops singing so nobody is hypnotized anymore. Argos's eyes clear and he feels as if he looks like an asshole in front of his god. Wondering how he got up on top of this pedestal. Zeon's just pissed. No, that makes sense. Clear off the song. Um, I think that's everybody that matters. Oh wait, no, I missed one. Oh, I never put you clear, did I? Okay, but you were. All right. Um, blue harpies. They move in. Uh, both try to attack. Um, does an 18 hit? Um, no, um, Josue? Uh, I'm gonna use, um, my reaction to cast, or not cast, but use Curse of the Eyeless to, right. um, reduce that by my Hemocraft die, which will be... 
We reduce it by three. All right, does a 15 hit? I believe. Uh, oh, yeah, it's just hitting my armor class. Oh, man. That was close, though. Um, all right. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, you get hit for eight damage. All right. Lucky. Um... Alright, these three fly up there, one flies down to Mertillo's. As they all come in, and uh, Argos, his, his eyes clear and harden in the sight of battle. Alright, and that'll be good. That'll be from the first... Okay, let's see here. Plus three. So this one goes up to Mertillos, um, hits him once. Uh, for four damage, he reduces that in half, so he takes two. Um, the three attacking, um, Argos. Uh, AC is 20 for this round. Okay. Uh, two crits. Well, that helps. Three crits. And... Can you uh, check your dice roller? Are you... Do you have it set to, like, roll higher percentage crits? I, you've gotten a ton of them this game. I do not have that. You can go back to the video and see. All I'm doing is clicking the button. Don't Damn. forget to use block if you have it, because I already forgot to use my block. Uh, yeah, I can. But I'm gonna, there's a couple of things that I can do. Because I took two crits, and I probably should have used it. Well, you were incapacitated when you were taking The problem that. is, is I... I had to use my reaction to shield, so the, the block, the really block, the block does not use can block, reaction. Can block, yeah, but that can only block one of the attacks, or uh, can uh, only uh, reduce the damage on one of the attacks. I'm about to take like eight attack, eight damages or whatever. Let's do it. Let's see it. Second. All right. Um. So that's gonna be. One, two, three, four, so six of these. Alright. Um, plus three. Um, 17 damage. From everything? Yep. He rolled two. Argo, Argo snorts. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie got like. Three crits there, but he rolled two ones on the damage. So, uh, eight, seven, six, forty-six. Eight, eight, seven, six, forty-six. Okay. All right. So that's on the first one. Okay, and then oh, sorry, there is uh one more that I need to roll. I actually miscalculated. So it's four more than that. So twenty-one total. Oh, it was supposed to be, yeah. That's one, yeah. All right. And where is so that's the harpy's turn. All right, Argos, your turn. Uh, Argos goes ahead, and let's see. How should I do this? Uh, I will hit the one 
directly in front of me with my hammer. He's going to smirk at it and wipe the, like, lick that little uh, bit of blood that's coming out of his nose and then smash that thing with his hammer. Are you talking about the one down here, the one up here, or...? Uh, the one that's directly on... They're all on diagonal, so... Oh, sorry. Uh, this guy right here. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, that does hit. Um, but actually... Fuck. I just fucked myself. I did what I... I did the thing that I said I wasn't gonna do. Oh, go, oh, go well. ahead. Go ahead Such and check No, 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 no. no, no, no. No, no, if you had a plan, and because you were like still thinking old ways, because you had to rethink your stuff, go ahead and go ahead and change it. That's not a problem. Okay. Uh, in that case, I am going to uh, a swirl of wind grabs me by my grabs me up by my feet uh -huh. and moves me back over here. Uh, and then as that happens, I call down the uh, the wrath of Karanos. And uh, quicken. Ah, oh, fuck! I can't quicken it because I just used my bonus action. Yeah. So you have, so you have to cast it normal. Yeah. This really changes how I can play my character. Um, yeah, all right. So I'll just have to to do it that way. Fine, I'll stay in the square. I'll take the melee attack against this guy to hit him. Right. I'll just use the 21. Yeah, that's fine, uh-huh. And... Bash him, doing six. I'll keep that damage, and then uh, I'll quicken uh, a thunder wave to strike these two that are facing away from me. Uh, can, you, can, um, can, so can you? They need. Can you? Can you? Uh, these two. That one and that one. okay. Thank you. So they need to make the saving a throw. From uh, the Thunder Wave. Um, I believe they both failed, but let me double check their bonus real quick. And I just used two of those, so I gotta do that. Um, yep, they both failed. Okay, so then they take an additional 10 Thunder damage and get knocked back 10 feet. I'm gonna take 10 Thunder damage. And knock back ten feet, please. Does that also knock him to the ground? Uh, DM's discretion. All right, thunder wave. Uh, actually, this one here is going to slam into the wall and burst and die into the statue, burst and die. Nice. Um, this one over here um, was flying in between the statues, so we'll move over. It's a weird angle, so moves here and then here, ten feet away. Um, actually, no. But she would also still slam into the statue. But let me go ahead and roll the damage on that one. She takes an additional one. All right. Um, there we go. Okay, uh, do you want to do any movement, or...? Um, no, I don't. Okay. I do, uh, want to take an action surge, though. Oh, okay. Okay. And then, uh, I'm gonna use my last first level slot okay. to, uh, Thunder Wave both of these guys. Actually, I'm not going to do that, because now I don't need to use my bonus action. So now I am going to use, uh, the weather effect to jump back 10 feet and then uh, I'm going to shatter these two. You accidentally moved back 15. Just adjusted it. 
Oh, sorry. I'm I'm lined up with the with the darker squares, so I can't really yeah. see the the light yeah. sometimes. Yeah, that's why that's why if, um I I think you keep miss, missing up. The the lining up thing was always annoying for me, so it's it's been really hard for me and most of these maps have quote unquote squares, but then it's like I can't actually get it to like fit correctly a lot of times, so I just kind of give up and just say fuck it close enough. Yeah. Yeah, I was measuring them all, and then I'm like, well, if I just center myself on one of these squares, then it'll work, but I'll, I'll, I'll just do it the, a little bit closer way. Anyways, I shatter them. Uh, they make DC 14 constitution saves. Um, they both make they it. They both make it. So they take six damages. Um, quick question. Uh, sorry to burst your bubble, but are you allowed to cast a spell during an action surge? Yes. Or is it just yeah. the attack action? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it's a it's a full it's a whole new round. It's 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 a full extra turn. Okay, I was just curious. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, the one down here, um, her little wing hands go up to her ears. And um, she falls to the ground. She's no longer flying. All right, uh, Mertillos. Um, let's see. He's gonna take two swings at this one here. Uh, let's do the first one first. That hits. Oh wait, I have his character sheet. What am I doing? Uh. It's gonna click it so that it shows up, but yeah, he hits anyways. And um, deal seven plus two, so minus nine. Oh, right. I'm not gonna waste that my bonus action. Uh, I guess they, never mind. Fuck. Hits. Wait. Uh, he kills this harpy, and he he's sh he's shouting. Full plumage going. Why is nobody jumping off the cart? <laughs> um, let's see. Let's move this to the back. He's going to move here and causing the cart to rotate this way. All right. Um, Charles. Okay, so the water would be what? It's still terrain or something? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 10 feet. To, yeah, you have to swim. So it's the same as the swimming rules, which is you use two feet for every one, for every one foot you want to do. So you move at half speed. And be warned, there's no lifeguard on duty. Uh, are, are, are you off? Me? Oh, I mean, I haven't been certified for at least two years. Oh, okay. Doesn't stop me, though. to my bow. All right. You have one on the ground here. And uh, this one's still flying. The one on the ground looks the more... Still flying. The one that's still flying? All right. Roll to hit. Um, 11 hits. So, alright. Um, you managed to clip the wings of this one, so she also falls to the ground. Um, second attack on her critically hits. And, uh, kills her. Alright! I love Kabob! Alright. And, uh... Is he on? Alright. Um... You're still doing the free action to swap weapons? 
Yeah, yeah. Just because it's uh, it's annoying to everything else that I'm doing already eats up Axon economy so much that. Gotcha. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask first before I just did it. Yeah. Um. Uh, so I'm gonna swap to my melee weapons. I'm gonna pull yeah. out two rape or. Hold on. Wait a second. Did I not plan this out right? Unfortunately, though, the 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 drawing two weapons that that does 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 use up a whole action. Wait, yeah, just... yeah, yeah, but I have the fighting style, which doesn't, or what, which allows me to take two weapons out as if I were taking one out. No, that's the feet. The feet lets you do that. No, the fighting style lets you do that. No, the fighting right? style just let. No, the fighting style just lets you add the modifier to the second attack. Oh. The feet is what oh. lets you do it. That's right. And then a rapier is considered a martial weapon, right? Yes. Oh, fuck me. I didn't think that through. Oh, oh wait, no, I did. Oh, okay. And it takes up my attack action to swap weapons then? It's for oh, two, two weapons. Two. For two weapons, yes. All right. Um. But you can still put the you put put your bow away and take and draw the weapon, and, and draw one of the weapons and use that for the no, for yeah. attack no. actions. Um. You still have your hunter's mark that you can move. Yeah, that's a bonus action though. Oh wait, did he kill? Oh, he killed the harpy. Okay. Yeah. Um. The one that had the uh, hunter's mark is dead. All right, yeah, I'll. Uh... If I don't move it, it's gone, right? No, it's it, it, like it still lingers, but you don't like okay. if you're not going to use your bonus action to do the offhand weapon attack because you'll only have the one weapon. Then you might as well use the bonus action to move it. Mm -hmm. Is all I'm saying. I'm just thinking of using my bonus action instead of just get the fuck out of here. Um. Um. Yeah, I'll just I'll stow and pull out my uh, plus one rapier. Okay. Just the one. Um, I'm not gonna pull out my short sword. Right. Um, and then I'll make two attacks on the harpy in front. Oh, I'm gonna move the. I'm gonna use my bonus action to move the hunter's mark on her, and okay. then I'll make that. my two attacks. All right, she now has the hunter's mark. You don't really need the green dot anymore, but. Uh, I, I'm marking that because um, you guys are immune to her particular song um, for the oh, next 24 I hours. Yeah. Okay. Um. So first attack. That hits. Dirty twenty. Uh, seven, and then plus. Let me roll the hunter's mark. So seven plus five. That's twelve. All right. And second attack. Oops! It accidentally clicked twice. It's the first one. Yeah. The fifteen. The fifteen, the 15 does 15. hit. Yeah, it does. And then hunt Hunter's Mark only applies to the first, right? I don't have the spell card up. Um, it's only the first time per turn, or is it each attack? I have to look it up. Hold on. Hold on, I, I'm looking at it right now. Deal one damage to a target whenever you hit with a weapon attack. Oh, okay, so this one's whenever I hit. It's the other, it's the planar warrior that is only the first one. Okay. It's whenever I make a weapon attack. So I will roll Hunter's Mark as well. So that takes another 9 in total. Alright. For an overall total of 21. Alright. With some damage. Alright. So this guy over here. Um, let's see. 
He moves here. He swaps to his short bow. Um, manages to hit her. Um, and not enough to kill her. Um, Alright, thundercloud time. Shoots a bolt straight out. Dealing 16 damage to both of these. Argus snorts again. He had plans for them. Ah, oh, damn, I get so many notices. I'm tired of that. And kills this one. Way. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot, um, and I'll just blast at the harpy. Uh, well, that's just out of reach. Uh, at the harpy next to me. All right. Oh, Jesus. Um, first attack. There it is. Um, the nine misses. The crit hits, um, since it deals double damage and she's at two hit points, uh, you blast her head off. Yeah. Uh, you said weapon, switching weapons is a free action? Is that how that works? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. As long as as long as you're not pulling out two weapons. All right, I'll quickly swap my glaive to my light crossbow. All right. And then uh, make my bonus attack to um, uh, to this harpy here. Okay. That hits. All right, that's three piercing damage. All right. And um, that's my turn. I guess I'll move a little closer. I'll move here. So I can hopefully hit some more next time. How long does your uh, bonus action melee attack, or bonus action attack uh, last for? Uh, it just happens every time I use a cantrip to attack. Oh, nice. Uh, Martillos uh, gets... Uh... Oh, and I need to roll two more. Uh, minus four. Martillos is almost dead over here. This harpy is like gouges him across his back um, the one in front of uh, Zeon um, she starts to fly up so she flies up out of your reach first um, invoking an opportunity attack which will be gladly taken all right Um, that does hit. Okay. Hold on. 15 damage. Okay. That is 15. Awesome. And um, as she flies up, um, th this kind of like powder sheds off of her wings. And I need you to make a DC 15 constitution save.
All right. Um. You. Uh, fall unconscious. Like asleep, or um, like I'm dead. You you collapse to the ground. As far as everybody else has seen, you just collapse to the ground. As far as you okay. know, the world uh, is black. Um, I'm not able to use my heroic champion to avoid that. Um, what's that now? It seems like it doesn't. Uh, instead of falling unconscious, I return to one HP. Um, it's not an HP loss, so no. Okay. You're still at the same amount of hit points. So. Um, let's see. I need to do one more thing to you here. Because um, you are... 